Hi, I'm David. And I'm Dan. And we're, we're in, in this, this together. together. Hi, I'm Bob. I am Candace. I may have Parkinson's, but Parkinson's does not have me. Hi, I'm Christopher. And I'm Devin. Together, together let's, let's cure, cure Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease. disease. The reason my son is shaking is because I have Parkinson's <laughs> disease. But the challenge is, our challenges don't define us. Our actions do. Hi, I'm Erica Branch. I'm the Executive Director for Parkinson's Support Center. We're so excited to be in partnership uh, with Kentucky One Health and UofL Physicians and the University of Louisville Med School uh, to offer the PD Buddy program. This great program partners first year medical students with people with Parkinson's and they're given the opportunity to meet monthly and share uh, intimate details about the life of Parkinson's and um, how to, to overcome and live well with Parkinson's disease. So. We're, we're very excited about the opportunity. We have great reviews. The um, program has been acknowledged nationally and internationally uh, as a one of a kind in the Parkinson's sector. Um, so we look forward to sharing our findings. We look forward to uh, the relationships between the students and the patients and all of the great outcomes that we'll get from it. 74-year-old Garrett Gross used to be a pretty good pool player. That was before he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease seven years ago. But Gross's pool playing ability isn't nearly as important as the person he's playing with. It's Megan Parker, a U of L medical school student, who is Gross's buddy. We have really have no problem trying to find things to do together. We have a lot of shared interests. So we, uh, the problem usually is deciding what we're going to do, yeah, which usually true. ends up being food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I still got a couple of restaurants we want to try. Parker and Gross are two of the participants in UofL's first of its kind, Parkinson's Buddy Program, linking 25 first-year med students with Parkinson's patients. The duos attend Parkinson's symposiums and group gatherings, but more often than not, just spend time together, socializing, like good friends will do. We went to that Halloween. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I was so scared. Yeah, she was, uh, I, I traumatized her right off the bat um, <laughs> by taking her to... Um, Hillcrest, uh, everybody knows uh, Hillcrest Street here in Louisville. The Parkinson's Buddy Program is the brainchild of U of L neurologist and researcher Catherine Lefevre. The goal is really to bring uh, patients and first year medical students together on a one on one basis. Uh, to kind of expose the students very early in their career to someone who suffers from a chronic uh, degenerative disease. Dr. Lefevre believes doctors spend too much time on paperwork, not enough time with the more enjoyable task of getting to know their patients. So she wants students like Megan Parker and Candace Wynn to spend time understanding what their buddies, Parkinson's patients, are going through, including the tremors, difficulty walking, and speaking. I feel like this gives me a different perspective about the Parkinson's disease, like how it affects the patient in their daily basics. And this is not something that we can learn from being inside the classroom, so it really shapes how I'm going to practice as a future doctor. She's seen me at my worst and she's seen me at my best. <laughs> well, maybe not my best. My best is maybe a few years behind me. And she's going to know this and recognize it when patients come into her office. They may have some non-specific symptoms that they can't figure out, and she may, because of Parkinson's, has so many different symptomologies that she, you know she she may be really a much better physician because of that. The Parkinson's patients say they really enjoy getting together with their young doctors to be, and praise Dr. Lefaver and U of L for starting a buddies program. Pretty evidently conveys that it's a very progressive school. I think it would be a th good thing for other universities to do. I've actually throwing out the idea that we're involved in this program to some friends of mine at other universities. And maybe more buddies in more places can gather around the pool table sharing experiences, learning, and making better doctors in the process. By involving first-year medical students in the PD Buddy program, we help to spark their interest in the neurosciences and help them become doctors who truly connect and advocate for their patients. Neuroscience is of course critical in finding cures for Parkinson's disease. Discovery always starts by asking questions, and a personal connection to someone suffering from an illness can become the start of a lifelong passion to find answers. Two, three. Wow.